If you actually believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, what are some of the characteristics that should be evident in your life? We talk about that today. Welcome to Encouraging Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encouragement from the Bible. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us today. We know that Jesus spent six weeks with his disciples after his resurrection, proving to them that he was alive. Acts chapter 1 says that he gave them many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. But during those 40 days, one of the topics that Jesus spoke about quite a bit was Holy Spirit. He said in Acts chapter 1 verse 4, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift of my father that my father has promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Again in verse 8, he says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. As Jesus approached his last days on earth, he spoke a lot about Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14, Jesus said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate or comforter to help you and to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. Now, the disciples had to be very um, wary and maybe even upset with Jesus talk about him leaving them again. They'd already seen him crucified. Now he's talking about them leaving and going back to the Father. We read in John chapter 16, Now I'm going to him who sent me. None of you ask me, where are you going? Rather, you are filled with grief because I've said these things. But verily, I tell you the truth. It's for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But I, if I go, I will send him to you. So hear me on this. If you believe that Jesus rose from the dead and is coming back to, again, that he ascended back to the Father and is coming back again, you should have a very deep interest in the work of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said it was vital that he leave so the Holy Spirit could come and not just be with us, but be in us. Now, there are some people who acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit, but barely. They don't want to talk about it too much. They don't want to get into it too much. They, they, don't, they want to focus on Jesus, they said. And I understand all that. But Holy Spirit lives with us today and is in us. And we should be very open to the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives every day. The other day I read something that said, one day we may go to heaven and we may see Moses and we may ask him, what was it like to part the Red Sea? Or maybe one day we'll see David and ask him, what was it like to kill Goliath? But they may well ask us, what was it like to have the Holy Spirit live inside you every day? Because that's something the Old Testament saints didn't have. They didn't have that experience. You and I have the experience of having the Holy Spirit live within us every day, every moment of our day. And you need to realize that. I want to encourage you today to do what you can to learn more about Holy Spirit what he does, what he wants to do, what he's doing in your life today. Are you open to him? Uh, have you closed off your life uh, to some areas of working with the Holy Spirit? You might say, well, I don't, I don't want to be like that kind of person. If you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, you should have a deep interest in knowing and working with the Holy Spirit. Uh, read everything you can about him. Don't be afraid of him. Uh, he is God with us today, and we need to understand that he gives us strength and power to live our lives today. He guides us in all truth. He speaks to us today. Holy Spirit is vital for living a post-resurrection life. We don't have Jesus physically here among us, but we have Holy Spirit inside us, and we need to understand that. If you've not really taken time to get to know Holy Spirit, uh, or maybe you're a bit wary of him because of churches you've been involved in or whatever, I want to encourage you today to open yourself up to Holy Spirit. Simply say, come Holy Spirit, make yourself real to me today. And I believe he will. I believe that Jesus said we should not attempt to do anything by ourselves without knowing Holy Spirit 
in our lives. So I want to encourage you today, seek him, read about him, uh, learn how he works today in our lives. If, if you want to walk in the power of the resurrection, you're going to need to walk in the power of Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8 and verse 11 says, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Believe that today. If you need healing today, reach out to Holy Spirit. Let him give life to your mortal body through Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your love today. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your grace in our lives. And thank you for Holy Spirit. Come among us, work among us, move among us, I pray. Help us to be more open to the working of Holy Spirit in our lives every day. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Thanks so much for taking time to watch. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another encouraging word. Have a great day. God bless.